Well, today we're going to put on a collar. Um, just This is a convertible collar, and we want to make sure when we're placing this, I always like to place the back of the shirt towards me. This seems to work the very best, and I always want to try to pin from the collar side. I think that's another very important thing. And we're just going to start off, you can see we have our collars, or our shoulder seams are totally sewn. They have their seam finishes done already on them, and then we are ready to proceed. So what we'll do first is we have our little marks, they're little triangles on your pattern, and those should go right at your shoulder seams. So I always like to try to work just at with one side and, and try to get this going and then we can move on over to the other side. So I'm going to place that little dot or triangle right at the shoulder seam and I just want to make sure that lines up. And I always take and put two pins there because I want to maintain and, and keep that seam open when I'm sewing it. Then I'm going to come over here and just match up my notch, just like this. And then you have another small dot that's right at the very front of your shirt, close to the fold, and so we should match the shirt up right here. Okay, right now we're going to go ahead and let's move over to the other side and do the exact same thing. We're going to match the, the dot up with our shoulder seam and I can just feel that right underneath there. And then I'll come over here to the other notch. And then I'm going to match this seam up right here. So the edge, the edge of the collar right here should really kind of match straight on down. So pull that over just a little bit more. All right. Now I want you to notice here we have got a little bit of ease going on here so we're going to have to just do a little bit of clipping and we're just going to just clip a couple of times so that that's going to fit in there very nicely and then I can just go ahead and pull those raw edges up so they're exactly even okay there we go I just use my fingers kind of to scrunch everything in. And then I'll do the same thing over here. Just make sure everything is nice and smooth. Sometimes you might have to clip this. This is more, we're going to have to kind of ease that in a little bit. And when you put a collar on, you've got to use quite a few pins. I think that's really important. Okay, so there we have this all taken care of. Now what we're going to do is we are going to fold this facing piece back, all right? And we're not going to pin anything right here yet. I'll show you in just a minute how we go about doing that. We want to fold this back, and right at the edge of your inner facing, you should have a little fold line. Now when I cut my pattern out, what I did is I made just a little itty bitty baby clip right here, so that really helps to tell me that that is where I need to fold. And I go ahead and turn this back just like this, and I'm folding this. Once again, we need to match up our notches. Okay, pull that back. And you can see that's really tight. We're going to have to clip that as well. And you can just take these pins and pull them right up and use those, or you can add more if you'd like. And then when I come over here to the shoulder seam, I want to take and fold this back 5 eighths of an inch and then I'm going to line that up and I always look at that right on the side and see that I'm lining the folded edge up right with my seam line. I think that's always very very important and you'll see why that is here in a bit. And then I'm going to pull that pin out and put that right there. Okay so you can see now this is really tight right here and right here. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and clip. I don't want to clip too deep. Probably about three eighths of an inch will do it. And I'll just do about three or four times here. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the very same thing over here. Okay. And you can see with that clipping that that immediately eases that in and then we can go ahead and pop those pins out and put those right back in again to hold everything. And you can see that that's nice and smooth now. And the same thing here. You have to keep working at it with your fingers because otherwise I can assure you you're going to have some puckers and tucks. Okay. And so we have that side all taken care of now. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and move over here and do the very same thing to this side. I'm going to fold this back right on that little clip line. Next, It should be right next to your um, interfacing. And it's always really important, by the way, to keep make sure that your collar is pulled up here even on both sides. If you don't, you're going to have one side of your collar longer than the other side. So that's a real important thing to keep in mind. Okay. All right, so now we have got our sides all pinned on our collar. And now we are ready to go ahead and take care of this middle section, okay, across the back. And so I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to take this pin out. Now, we're going to only be sewing through this bottom layer of the collar and we're going to be sewing through this back of the neck. And so what we're going to do here first thing is we're going to take and clip really, really close to this little fold on your facing. We, and we want to make sure we're clipping really, really close. We don't want to cut anything else. Okay, so there we go. All right, and we don't want to clip it back too far because then we're going to have a hole in our collar. We should only clip about 5 eighths of an inch from the very edge. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and do that on this other side as well. And so I will clip right here, really close. Once again, no more than five eighths of an inch deep. And then we're, we are able to go ahead and pin across here. Now you can see once again that this is really snug, a tight little fit. So once again, we have got to do some little bit of clipping. And so we're just going to clip a few times across here. Probably about every inch is plenty. Okay, there we go. And now, can you see how, how nice that's going to lay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and fold this back. And I always just take and stick a pin right in here to hold that. Because I don't want to sew that at all when I'm, when I'm sewing my collar on. And you can see that that's going to just go together very nicely. Once again, we want to make sure to keep our raw edges all together right along here. And then we can continue right over here. And then we're going to go ahead and turn this back and we are ready to start sewing. And like I said, I usually take and stick pins back there because I don't want to catch this folded area at all. I'm just going to sew, start sewing at this edge and I'm going to continue on and I want to make sure to be really snuggling right up here and continue on over to here and then right off the edge. Okay, so we're ready to sew now. Now, with, whenever you're putting a collar on, first of all, you're going to sew a 5 8 inch seam. You want to always begin to back stitch at the very beginning. 
Uh, something I would also do is if you have a needle down position, I would definitely use that because you're going to be stopping and adjusting frequently. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on around here and I want to take my pins out as I come to them. And I always like to just check underneath to make sure that I don't have any puckers going on down there. Okay, once again, just stop and adjust. Make sure you've got everything nice and smooth there. getting close to that intersecting point up here so we're going to have to be real careful about that I'm going to take my finger and move that underneath there and just smooth that area out okay there we go all right so you can see we're right at that very important point right there and so I'm just going to come on up a bit and make sure that I stitch right at that point. Okay, good job. And then I can go ahead and continue right along the back. I think you're almost halfway done, pretty good. Just notice I think I need to clip just a teeny bit deeper here so I'm going to take that pin out and I'm just going to clip just the teeniest bit oh I just need to pull that up and I'm good okay there we go sure you don't have any wrinkles and crinkles underneath there. Okay, once again I'm going to lift up my presser foot and kind of smooth that little, little lump out right there. One more time. Okay, there it is. Fine now. Okay. Okay, I think we're just about there. I'm going to back stitch at the end. is kind of an adventure isn't it we want to look on the back and make sure we don't have any any puckers if we do we can just rip out that little tiny pucker and then we're uh, we can just restitch that little teeny bit we don't have to rip the whole collar off okay so now you can see we've got that all sewn on and but what do we have to do here is we have got to take and trim and grade our seam okay and then we're going to be pretty much done with our collar. So what I always like to do is I just will go ahead and trim this seam in half. And when I'm doing that, I want to make sure and not catch anything else. So I always take my fingers and put them right underneath there. And I'm going to, like I said, just trim about half of this seam away. Now I don't want you to cut any of this fabric off at all. Okay, we don't trim any of that off. We're just going to go ahead and continue right across here. I'm going to get rid of some of that so it's not so messy. Okay. All right, 
there we go. Now, you can see that that really helps it to lay quite a little bit better, but we need to do just a little bit more work here. Sometimes we need to actually, well, I, first of all, I always like to tr clip this corner diagonally. So I'm going to cut a little of that off so we have a nicer point when we turn that. And then <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and grade this top seam a little bit. I'm going to trim this about in half again, making sure not to cut anything else but that top seam. This is a little tricky. It works better if you have a pair of smaller scissors than if you have larger scissors. So it's a good time to invest in some good scissors. And then we can go ahead and clip right across here. Okay, so that really makes that bulkiness go down. And you can take and clip this right along here. That's going to help it as well to lay. All right, and then you can see that this is going to, it's just going to lay so much better on, on the neckline. Okay, now also what we need to do here, and this is something that's really critical, and by the way, we'll go over here and grade this seam as well. But what you wanna do right here at this point, we always wanna keep this whole top collar, okay? That's really, really important. But what we wanna do is we're going to be clipping all through this seam just at one point here we're going to just do a little clip we want to clip it right up until we get to that stitching without cutting through the stitching because what we're going to be doing there is we're going to tuck all of that seam right inside and we're going to be folding this fabric over and then we're going to be slip stitching that in place Okay, so that's going to be going just like that and we'll end up I'm going to just pin that to show you how that goes and then this facing piece is going to lay right on top and we'll have to slip stitch that in place as well okay all right so that's what we're going to be doing and we'll do the same thing over here on this side as well